Hello everybody and welcome to Edgewater Saskatchewan. This is a beautiful looking map with some very unique field patterns. So we are starting here then on this plot of land. I have started in farm manager mode which means I get no land, no equipment, but I start with one and a half million. So I've gone ahead and bought this plot here which is this little field bit here and this all around here which is a nice big area to start with. Now, this is actually the area that you do start with if you start as a new farmer. You get this area and you get some basic bits of equipment. Now, being new farm manager, it allows me to go and use the one and a half million and basically set it up the way I want. So this, yes, is your starting area as a new farmer. But I've just changed a few little things up. So we've got a different kind of shed here. Because in here, I needed a big drive through shed to put the header in. And I'll see me double belly dump and me normal truck that we can have. I've gone and changed up the silo to something that's got a little bit more capacity. And the shed here with a tractor, my Colossus, a header. And round the corner, this awesome machine, which I'm sure you have seen. I've used this before to cut grass. I think it was an Elm Creek, this one, the Swather. But this is used for something very different on this map now all that being said that one and a half million for the land and all the equipment has absolutely rinsed my bank account to the point i've got 1280 pound left no loan or nothing at the minute and i'm going to do my best to not basically have a loan we have got quite a field to sort out here this is field one but it's farmland two because this field doesn't have any number but we do have some new crops as you can see this is this one here this is flax we have peas and lentils as well so we really do get to enjoy some new crops on here and if we go and have a quick look over this this is what the flax look like look at this but there's a different way we can do these so we've got the combine set up and i'm gonna run a bit of a headland on this field now like i said there's a different way we can do this you can use the swather and you come round and it basically harvests but dumps it on the ground to the side. And then you come along with the normal combine and a special header and you pick up the, technically the swath of crops what are on the ground and you get a 20% yield bonus. But the problem you've got to watch out for is if you catch the edge, because it's a, a normal, like it will mow and everything, it will pick up the grass and throw that in. But doing that means you're losing some crop because it's replacing the grass and the crop. So this is why I think it might be a safer bet to do a headland with a normal header like this, which will only pick up the crop. So let's jump in then. Let's activate this. Straw is enabled because we can get straw off this. I don't know what the yield's going to be like because this is technically we bought the field with this in, so it's not going to be fertilized the best. We're not going to, it's not going to be the best sort of yield we're going to get off this but it is free we did buy it with it in so we are going to get what we can so we're going to run around the edge you can see it's not going up much at all we've, we've just hit a thousand liters so these flax don't go very far i'm hoping if we go and plant some more of these and we actually fertilize and do all the the proper things that we should be doing the field should be better and i'm hoping we will get more but this is something different. I mean, look at the straw. So I'm going to go around, complete this headland. And then we can give the swather a go. So one headland complete. Then we've got a nice ring of straw. We're going to just dump the first little bit in here. It's not much at all. It's quite shocking at how little it is. So we're going to just dump the first little bit of flax in here from one headland. 6,433 litres. God, these don't go far, do they? So for now, I'm just going to go and park this on the side here. And we are going to go get the swather and give that a go. So if we're going to have a look here, then we've got the swather. And this is going to help us because you can see the little, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see the gap in the middle. But what you can do is you can move it across depending on which way you want. So that will obviously tip it to the left if we spin around and look at it that way. Or we'll tip this one, which is going to go more into the middle of the field, which is what we want. So if we go spin back around now, we want it to go in towards the middle of the field. 
So we go start over here. And then we go and activate this here. Drop it down. Spin it. Let's go. This will now swath it, the crop, into the middle, as you can see. So basically what it's doing is what the harvester would do is pick it up. But this, as you can see, is different. It's not the straw that it's actually... It's not like it's taking it and just making it into straw. It's actually swathing the grain on the floor. Let's just go... Just jump out quickly and uh, we'll turn that off because it's quite noisy. So if we're going to have a look, this is the straw that we're getting from it. But if you look here, look. This is actually the crop. So doing it this way, we actually get a better yield. And just looking how little we're going to get from this... The better yield is what we want. So we've got a special header that picks up the grain after. So you just got to keep going back and forth and sorting this out. So we'll get a few rows done. And then we'll take a look at the new header. For picking this up. There you can see now we've got two swaths of crops on the floor. We've done four rows back, back and forth. But obviously because when you spin around. It puts the next swath back pretty much over the last one you just done. So it just cuts down how many times you've got to go pick up. So now we can go and swap over back to the Colossus with the new header to pick this up and see how we get on with that. This is the new pickup header that you can use to get the crop up off the ground. And it just goes into the combine like normal. But you get a 20% yield bonus off this. And it's called the Swath Master. <laughs> Sounds so cool. So we'll give it a go. Now we should be able to get straw off this as well as picking this up. So if we jump in... Turn around, we'll actually sit, because this could be a, a great first person view thing. So if we go and drop it down, and we'll just go. Look at that. Look at that animation of it picking it up there. This is so cool. So you just run over and pick up your swath. Now it's a good size header on it. So the swaths, it should cope with these pretty well. So we're going to have a quick look outside as well. Yeah, you see we are getting straw coming out the back. So this is a new way of doing things. Now, I'm not sure if it's just these flax, maybe the peas and lentils, but you can do it this way. But I think it is just the new crops. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. So that's all the crops sorted out there and swapped up. We just need to swap over to the Colossus now with the pickup header and pick it all up and make some wonderful straw. So let's go through and get some of this up. I wish that our love was just like in the movies with a happy end. Yeah, but sometimes you can't handle your emotions and I guess that's okay. Met you at a time when So that's all the crop picked up from this field then so we're just going to tip it into here and see what we actually got all together there's a lot of straw on the floor but i'm just a bit concerned now will a normal baler pick up this straw because it's a completely different straw to normal 
it's flax straw. I'm hoping a normal baler will just pick this up. Looking at the prices then, the best one seems to be the train. So if we go and tag the place and then go and have a look on the map, you can see that the train is down here. Now that's the sell point on the train. So if we go and have a look at this rented train here and visit, you can see that's the sell point. Now I have just been looking around to try and work out, well, where do I put my grain in to get it on the train? There's not really much going on here. All I can work out is it looks like we've got a tip point here, which is where the train's going to, when you rent the train, which you should be able to rent the train just down here, this little box just here. So uh, if you don't get run over by cars, the train will appear here. You'll be able to click here and rent it. So it will stop along here. I'm guessing then we can go back into here and we fill up here. That's what I'm thinking because this is labeled up as grain pool east. And then just next to this one in the middle is also Grain Pool East. Now, if we go to this one, that's Edgewater Grain, which again is its own sell point. Now, this is the Edgewater Grain sell point. You see what's tagged here green. So that we need to be careful not to put it into there. Otherwise, we are going to get a lower, a lot lower price. You see 2,379 where we want the train one, which is this one, which I'm not going to try and pronounce 2,850. So we don't tip it there. All I can think is we must tip it into this one because this is the Grain East, which we just seen on the map here. This one in the middle. We've got Grain Pool East and then that's Grain Pool East, which I'm guessing you tip it into there. And then this bit over here is where it will come out onto the train. And then we can sell it down at the other more higher price. You keeping up with me on this one? This is so confusing. Let's jump back into my wagon and I'm going to head over to that one that I think is the right one. Just before we get that, I am going to save the game just in case it's wrong. So I'll see you over there. So we're over here now. I'm just going to go on and I'm just going to go and save the game just in case this all does go horribly wrong. Now you can see the markers in there, which I think is going to be the right one. So if we just drive in here, which is going to be snug. This isn't the uh, smallest vehicle. But the thing is, it's a belly dump, which is why I went for this, because if you've got a normal trailer that tips up, you've got no chance of getting in here. So I'm hoping we're going to get the trigger, which we do is around about there. So if we just go and unload, I'm hoping our bank balance doesn't go up, which means it's stored in ready for the train. Let's find out. Let's open her up. Let's see. Yes, the bank balance hasn't gone anywhere, which means we haven't hit a sell point. Let's just jump inside because I can't see nothing. Let's see, can we uh, can we get out of here now? Long trailer that rear steers. Let's see if we can go up a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Let's go and leave us here. Let's go and head out and let's actually go across. How do we get out of here now? Across the tracks. We shouldn't be going across the tracks. Let's just see, and we go and rent the train here. So I'm just going to go put the marker on and see. We should be able to go and rent the train here. Let's click it. The train is on its way. We've rented it for £1,000 an hour. Let's just hope it gets here quick because I've only got just over £1,000. So I'm hoping this is going to bring us in enough money that we can at least lease the baler. I would love to buy it. But I really don't think we're going to get... Well, we're going to have to get, what, nearly 100k? I don't think that's going to happen off this somehow. But hopefully it's enough to lease it. So I'm going to wait for the train. I'm not going to make you wait with me. And we'll see what happens when it gets here. So I'm starting to believe that the train might actually be broken. This might be something that the uh, map maker might need to have a look at and see. But I think it's broken. I have waited 15 minutes in real time. Hmm. I keep seeing the actual number there go from 1.4k to 1.5 down to 1.3 and then it goes back up again. It doesn't seem to get any lower. And this is costing me money because it still says that return rented train. So I haven't actually rented it yet. It hasn't got anywhere near me. It's not even on the map. I think we're going to have to return it 
that's cost me 114 pound which is wonderful that's just what i wanted we're now gonna have to go and see if i can get this back out of here i struggled to put it in here but we've got to try and get it back now and then we're gonna have to take it to wherever the next best selling station is which i think is the farmer's market okay so i have managed to get the flax back now i don't think it's probably the way i should have done it driving down the tracks it wasn't the best way and i don't think that's the way you should do it but it's the only way i could think of is if it's where the train picks it up if i go put my trailer under there i should be able to get it back and luckily it worked so i haven't lost them but we did lose 114 pound to rent the train that never turned up as you can see look at this for a view these roads are all bouncy and look at this flying across the air this thing 90 miles an hour and we are heading down here as you can see the green market to the farmer's market which is the best or well, the next best one let's just see if we can try and work out how we get in here i'm guessing we turn in here you know what since you're with me let's bring you along as well i'm guessing we go in here and i'm guessing it's this right here look at this let's go drive over let's go and dump these finally get rid of them and get some money Sixty-six thousand nine hundred and fifty-two. so not as good as the train it should have been about 78 but unfortunately the train seems to be broken so let's head back to the yard so here she is then we managed to uh, lease this bailing now you can pick a few different ones i should have picked uh, the the vent you can pick different ones new holland massey ferguson and fent but um i just went with the massey ferguson because it looked good this is the heston baler and this is some big bales in here now luckily leasing it just over four grand that's not bad now it is ninety or thousand to buy so at some point i would like to buy one but for now let's just go in let's give us a try let's turn the thing on let's drop it down and let's see how we get will it pick it up it won't oh no so it won't pick up you can see the head is down it won't pick up the flat straw now this was my worry so what do we do with this now i've leased something that will pick it up this trusty trailer with the wings on it will pick it up now it seems to be that there is only a few special balers that will pick it up i have got a couple that will you can actually see it's like a not the normal straw picture it's like the a brown straw picture to match the color of this it seems like that's the only thing only a, and it's just a, a, one of the little round bales i'm just nah, i didn't really i wanted the heston one because they are big beastie bales but it looks like that won't support this that's something to bear in mind now it seems like forage wagons will pick it up i've just gone for this one because it's a lot quicker normal forage wagon doesn't hold as much and obviously you don't have the wings to be able to zoom around and pick it all up like this so i'm going to get this done and then we've got to try and find somewhere to actually sell this and it doesn't come up as anything different this is the thing it doesn't show it's like black straw it's just straw so does it sell like normal straw i'm i'm guessing i'm guessing it's going to so let's go around and get this up and let's just see how much we get and hopefully we'll get a a nice tidy sum from this so all the straw has been collected then given us 226 thousand liters which sounds a good amount now i don't think it's going to be life-changing money we're going to get from this but i'm hoping it's going to make up for having to lease this and the baler which four grand down the drain it did absolutely nothing at all let's just see if we can try and find somewhere to sell it now so there is actually a special place it actually says there flax straw which is good i must have missed that when i was just flicking through the menu uh, and if we have a look here you've got larry's is 93 95 for the livestock bale auction seems to be the best one we'll tag that and we'll go find it so here we are then at the bale auction now it's not bales i'm hoping it should take loose it did say 
bales, didn't it? Livestock bale auction. I'm hoping it's going to take loose because we've struggled with the bales. If it doesn't take loose, I'm not really sure what we do. Yes, it seems to. Let's go and tip this out here. And hopefully we get a decent amount of money. 21,755 for that, which is not too bad. So technically our bank balance has gone back up to where we were before I leased the trailer or the baler. Hmm. Well, I think this has been a good first episode then. If you have enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if you want to keep up to date with all the episodes that I'm putting out, then please do go and smash that subscribe. And don't forget to turn the bell on to get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.